dream on. Spencer is a very special engine from the mainland. He belongs to the Duke and Duchess of Boxford. He's very fast, very shiny and very strong. He also likes to show off. The other engines didn't like that. One day, Thomas was shunting trucks at Knapford Yards. The fat controller arrived. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford are coming to show door with Spencer, he boomed. Spencer will be very tired after his long journey, so you, Thomas, must help him. Later, Spencer arrived. Thomas was still working. Take my carriages and shunt them away, Spencer huffed grandly. I will when I've shunted these trucks, tooted Thomas. But Spencer didn't like waiting. I'm faster, shinier and stronger than you, Thomas. You are just a little tank engine. This made Thomas cross. But he remembered the fat controller had told him to help. So Thomas shunted Spencer's carriages safely into the sheds. When Thomas arrived back at Tidmouth's sheds, he was very tired. Spencer was already there. Anyone can shunt trucks, wished Spencer, but you have to be very special to pull the Duke and the Duchess of Boxford. This made Thomas very cross. I'll show that bossy boiler, Thomas puffed to Percy. Tomorrow I'm going to be faster, shinier and stronger than Spencer. The next morning, Thomas had to collect trucks from the smelter's yards. When Thomas reached the main line, he decided he would go faster than Spencer. Thomas puffed faster and faster. He puffed faster than he'd ever puffed before. Thomas steamed past Emily. Slow down, Thomas, she whistled. You'll never get round the bend. Thomas slammed on his brakes. Whoa! tooted Thomas, terrified. Luckily, he stopped just in time. Maybe I can't be faster than Spencer, he chuffed, but I can still be shinier and stronger. Later, Thomas was at the washdown. I'd like the shiniest polish ever, he tooted. Thomas was rubbed and scrubbed until he sparkled and shone. It took a very long time. Toby pulled up next to Thomas. Look, Toby! Whooshed Thomas proudly. I've never been so shiny. Toby had an urgent message for Thomas. You have to shun stone at the quarry, he steamed. They're waiting for you now. So Thomas puffed quickly away. Thomas arrived at the quarry. My, said Mavis, you're the shiniest engine I've ever seen. Thomas was pleased. He puffed off proudly. Thomas's trucks were filled with stone. All his sparkle and shine had gone. Thomas was very unhappy. He steamed off with his trucks. Thomas came to Gordon's Hill. He had never puffed up it with such a heavy load. I may not be faster or shinier than Spencer, tooted Thomas, but I can still be stronger. The hill got steeper and steeper, and the stone felt heavier and heavier. Thomas's wheels started to spin. Oh no, cried Thomas. Stones tipped out of the trucks. He slid all the way to the bottom. Thomas wasn't strong enough after all. Thomas felt very, very silly. All day I've tried to be faster and shinier and stronger than Spencer, he wished, and I'm not. Thomas felt terrible. Next morning, Thomas knew what he was going to do. I don't want to be faster, shinier and stronger than Spencer anymore, he chuffed. I'm very happy to shunt trucks. 
then the fat controller arrived. There is an emergency, he boomed. The Duke of Boxford has to return to the mainland on very important business. Where are his special carriages? His carriages are right at the back of the yard, sir, puffed Thomas. But don't worry, I can shunt them to the front very quickly. Well, John Thomas, said the Fat Controller, then take them straight to Spencer. When Thomas arrived at the sheds, Spencer's boiler was still cold. You might be the fastest, shiniest and strongest engine, but you're the slowest to get fired up, Thomas tooted cheekily. Now it was Spencer's turn to feel very silly. Then the Duke arrived. Why are you not ready, Spencer? I will miss my airplane, he said sternly. Thomas, you must take me to the airport. Yes, sir, tooted Thomas. The Duke's special crest was placed on Thomas's boiler, and Thomas steamed grandly away. Thomas felt very proud as he raced to the airport. Thomas arrived just in time. Jeremy was waiting for them. The Duke was very pleased. There's nothing better than an engine you can rely on, he said. You have saved the day, Thomas. Thomas watched the Duke's plane fly away. Thomas knew he wasn't faster, shinier or stronger than Spencer, but he was certainly reliable. And that was a very useful thing to be. Come on. Thomas, let's go.